What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and it's going to be a weird one today. And now for something completely different. So I've only got one more exam to finish up my whole year, so I've been pushing it off uh, for later because it's kind of annoying. I have to create a working model, which is always annoying for me. I like to stick to the computer, but today I have to do it, so I decided to kind of drag you along with me. So I'm going to be creating a concrete shell or a working model of a concrete shell, we're doing some for finding for concrete shells and instead of using concrete, of course, I'm going to be using gypsum because it's easier to mix up and use at home and uh, instead of rebar, I'm actually going to be using an old t-shirt. So hopefully I won't make a huge mess and hopefully you'll learn something on how to create gypsum models. So I've cleared up my room, as you can see over here, just a bit, and now I'm just going to attempt to create this model here. But first, we need some protection. I feel like Dexter. I need to cover this floor because this room is my bedroom, my home office, my recording studio and of course a home gym as well. As you can hopefully see over here I've outlined this, uh, the pattern or the size or the shape of my shell on this here uh, fabric that I have that's actually going to kind of be a reinforcement for all of the gypsum. Okay, next step is to find something to hang our uh, uh, our shell from and for this to get the actual shape of the shell, well, it has to be like this, but you have to create it inverted so it has to be hanging from something and then you will get the, like, the perfect structural form. So you need something to hang the shell from and for this I've got these IKEA uh, desk leg thingies. So, this is what I'm going to be using for that. Okay, so this is kind of resembling the shape I want to have. I just need to figure out a way to uh, place the gypsum now on this part. And I think I figured that out. I'm actually just going to create a little table on top. So now I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. And then I'm going to be placing this piece of cardboard underneath. So now I've got a temporary table and I can place uh, gypsum on this and then I can just remove this uh, cardboard and it will fall into place and I'm going to have my shape. Okay, now for the worst part. So for mixing gypsum you need, well, you need gypsum and you need something to mix it in, so I'm just going to use this like large bottle. You need something to mix it with and I'm going to be using this. Uh, in my country we call this spachtla. I don't know what's it called in English, so if somebody knows, please tell me in the comment section below. We need that. We need some water to mix with gypsum, and of course we need a knife to do much of the work. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm just going to take this bottle, and be careful when you're doing this, when you're, whenever you're cutting, uh, whenever you're cutting plastic, it can be hard. So. I'm just going to cut this and create a little something in which I can, uh, I can basically mix all of my gypsum. And be careful, the knife can kind of slide through this real quickly and you can cut it yourself. Okay, so we've got our mixing bowl and let's just place it there. Now let's open up the gypsum, so just cut it a little here on the side. Kind of like that so you can just pour it in 
and then let's just pour a little bit of water first. So you're not really creating gypsum for molding, so you're going to be adding a lot more gypsum and a lot less water to make a, something really dense. And once you start working, this is going to be drying really quick, so you need to be acting quickly. So let me just add some gypsum. Okay, so in the end this took around 20 minutes to harden and another 2 or 3 hours to completely dry out and then I took it off and it actually stood and it works even though there is a quite a thin layer of gypsum, there is like 2 millimeters of gypsum, even less on some places like 1 millimeter, but it still works. The the t-shirt is giving it kinda is acting as rebar and it's called holding it together and uh, gypsum is giving it the shape so we've found the perfect form for this uh, well for this concrete shell okay so that's pretty much it for this I wouldn't call it a tutorial I guess a model making session but anyway thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and I will see you with another tutorial for Revit tomorrow